Hi there, Tony here from Studica. As you all know, the Ontario Technological Skills Conference is right around the corner. This year, Studica will be hosting the fourth annual Virtual Robotics Challenge. This involves the Microsoft Robotics Studio combined with the Fisher Technique RoboTX Explorer services. I'd like to cover a step-by-step -step on how to install the various components. So first of all, we'll need the RoboTX Explorer kit. This year's design was by Bob Tone. It's the Mazebot. It's basically the Explorer with some enhancements. We've got bumper sensors as well as an ultrasound distance sensor. We've got infrared sensors for the trail sensor as well as a color sensor. A couple of lights here as well. All right, so uh, once you have that, you'll need your RoboTX software, the RoboPro. This software is a, an interface that connects to your RoboPro and it allows you to uh, update the firmware when you first launch it. This is very important as most of the services require the latest version of the firmware. I'll be posting the latest updates as well on the blog. You might want to also opt for a game controller, the Xbox 360. This one here has a USB connector or you can go with a wireless using Bluetooth. Speaking of Bluetooth, you'll need a Bluetooth interface to communicate with your RoboPro. I'm using here the StarTech USB 2.0 Class 1 Bluetooth adapter. Class 1 gives you a range of over 30 meters, which is pretty cool. Some books are useful as well. Rock's Publications, written by the uh, guys at Microsoft, Microsoft Robotics Developer Studio Professional. Or the latest book out there by CRC Press, great book covers a lot on the VPL. All right, so let's jump in and explore installing all the components that you'll need to start practicing for the competition. So to begin with, let's start by downloading the Microsoft Robotics Developer Studio 4 from, my, from the Microsoft site, www.microsoft.com slash robotics. Here you'll find everything about the Developer Studio under the get started section it will actually show you what the prerequisites are and there's a direct link to get the download here get Microsoft Robotics Developer Studio 4 that brings you straight to the download page and click the download and it'll start once the downloads complete you can launch it launching the studio install and it'll tell you what's missing on your system so in this case we're missing the CCR and the DSS runtime if you're missing the .NET 4.0 it'll do that automatically and list it here and install those prerequisites first so we'll start the download now we'll install the prerequisites and it'll proceed to download the installation for the developer studio accept the license agreement of legal stuff there and if you'd like you can uh, sign up for the feedback and do, just do a complete install
There we go. The next step is to download the Fisher Technique uh, FXTX service packages. Those can be found at the Fisher Technique site. We'll have this posted on the FisherTechnique.biz page under the Microsoft Robotics Studio page and it covers the OTSC requirements and, and details on the uh, Robotics Challenge. So that'll be on this page here and we'll have a link to the latest uh, 2013 OSTC challenge. So on that page there's a lot of information for the uh, Fisher Technique support for MSRDS talking about the VPL the basics there available software that's available on the page and there's basically uh, four different sections or four different packages here you just need package number one the FTTX service as well as number four which is the simulation service it doesn't matter what order you put them in the files will be, be placed in their proper folders under the robotic studio uh, directory structure so we'll start first with the uh, FTTX service package and I'll just save this and we'll take the number four as well the simulation package So what you end up with is uh, zip files that you need to uh, expand or extract. So I'll extract to the subfolder and then we can see what's there. Do the same to this one. And it's basically a self-extracting uh, install that puts the package into the proper directory folder. We'll just accept the license agreement and it will show you where it's going to extract it. If you want to you can actually look at the contents. I'll say OK. And there is a readme file that describes everything that's in the, the target package and we'll repeat the same step for the other package so this one's the deployment package for the simulation and you can see there it is for the 2013 Ontario Skills Competition And there's another readme file as well. All right, so to verify that it's actually there, if you go under the Robotics Developer Studio, under Packages, there's the HTML files that we just read. And if we go under Samples, you'll find two folders, one called Studica, which is where the simulation solutions are under VPL and there's uh, a couple examples there provided by Carl Van Lin. and then there's another one under the FTTX is the hardware services as VPL examples as well so we got the different sensors and trail activity examples. Next step is to install the RoboPro software and that will automatically update the firmware on your RoboTX controller. If it's not up to the latest version it will do it automatically for you. So insert the RoboPro CD and install the software.
I'll just do an express, it'll install everything anyway. So now the first time you launch the uh, RoboPro, it will automatically update your firmware. What I'm going to do is actually update the RoboPro to the latest version. And you can do that by visiting the Fisher Technique website. And we'll have a link to this page here on the uh, fishertechnique.biz website for you to link to. So we're looking for the RoboPro 3.2.3. That's what we're looking for. that will automatically update it'll check for your installation Looks like it's updating the USB driver as well. I'll just say yes to everything here, it should be fine. I can uh, launch the RoboPro. Launch the RoboPro software. And we'll check the version, make sure we're running, we have the latest version, 3.2.3, that's what we want. So now when we plug in our Robotex controller, it'll do the firmware update. We'll do that later. Right now we also want to check that we're running and that we've installed all our packages for the Robotics Studio. So we want to launch the Visual Programming Language interface. Here's our interface, our basic activities, available services, and if we scroll down here, we should see one's the uh, FXTX generic motor interface. The other is the FXTX bot simulation. One is the actual simulation, and the other one's the actual hardware. So we want to open up one of the projects. You'll find this under the current user. In my case, my folder. There's a folder Microsoft Robotics Dev Studio. So whoever installed the software initially, it'll be found in their folder. And if you look under the samples, and then there's a folder called Studica under Simulated FXTX Solution. Simulated FXTX VPL folder. There are eight folders that you can choose from to test the various activities. So I'll open up this test six.
resize that. And you can also resize the layout display here. And if you can see all the tabs here, all the different activities, this one actually uses the uh, game controller desktop interface joystick, or you can actually use an Xbox 360 interface. I'll just use the start button and to launch the activities. get several dialogues including the main simulation window. This is last year's uh, course and uh, according to this setup number one will enable the control. Here I'm actually controlling it. I want to somehow get it onto the line. Whoops. Uh, And once I have it on the line, I should be able to turn on the trail follower activity by clicking number 8. So your job is to be able to move the robot to, to find the start of the line and to finish this trail follower, trail follower with the best, fastest algorithm. Looks like this is working well. You can exit that and stop this. So we have everything we need. The only thing now is to connect to the hardware. We'll do that in the next video. So we have everything to get started to get practicing using the VPL and get the, your, your team ready for the competition. So there you go. I hope that helps everyone out in getting your teams ready for the Virtual Robotics Challenge for 2013. Good luck to everyone.